So, I wanna share something with all of you that I think is super cool. Now, we talk a lot about presets and templates in Resolve on this channel. I've made several of my own and I've talked a bit about how to look at the included free presets in Resolve and especially inside the Fusion page, break them apart, learn a lot from them to increase your own skill so you can make something cool. And what I want to share with you all, I discovered uh, through that process. In this case, through looking through the free included titles on the edit page, opening them up in the Fusion page and uh, discovering uh, one of the real secrets to creating powerful titles and effects, presets, templates for use in DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As always, here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page, and I have dragged onto my timeline one of the included free titles slide from center line. And you can see this just little, and you can see this guy little rotates on, slides left, slides right. It holds for five seconds and then it animates out. Now, if you've ever used any of the free titles, you might have noticed something right away. The second, you decide to change the length of this clip. If you shorten this, if I pull it down to just three seconds, it animates on, holds, and then animates right off. And if you extend it for any longer than five seconds, it animates on, holds, and then at the end of this clip, animates off. It always animates on and off at the same speed, but when that animation happens, is always tied to either the beginning or the end of however long you stretch this clip to be. And I wanna share with you all how they did that. But first, for people who don't know, on any included uh, fusion effect, fusion titles, generators, uh, transitions, all of those, if you make sure your playhead is over or it's selected and you open up the inspector, you will have access to all the custom controls for that effect. And if any of these were made in the fusion page, you will also have this little icon up here to open this specific instance of this effect in the fusion page. I'm going to click that and boom, I'm in the fusion page. And you'll see that this title transition is actually entirely contained inside this group of nodes here. If you click on that in the inspector, you will see all those same controls but if you double click, if you scale in, you can see that this is actually a group of nodes here. If you double click on this, it will open up and you will see that this is actually a group of nodes. And this is crazy valuable in its own right. You can follow through this path, find out exactly how this title was created, and that gives you a deeper depth of customization. You can change anything about this, or you can take what you learned, start from scratch, create something completely new. But we're gonna look at one very special node, and that is this last node in this little tree, the keyframe stretcher. And to just communicate what this is doing, I'm gonna select this merge right before it, pull it up in viewer one, and select this keyframe stretcher and pull it up in viewer two. Then I'm gonna to go to the beginning of my sequence and start to just scrub through. You'll see this animates on, on both sides, but then you'll see on my first viewer, which is previewing the merge right before the keyframe stretcher, you see that it animates out first. And then it's not until you get to the very end of the composition, that the preview of this keyframe stretcher also animates out. Now this merge, however long you stretch the clip on the edit page, it would always animate in here and animate off here. Just a little under five seconds. That is the animation that is hard coded into this template. Over five seconds it animates on, waits, and then animates off. But because of this keyframe stretcher node, that is what enables it to be flexible on the edit page. I'm gonna make sure this keyframe node is selected and then make sure my inspector is open and here we have these controls. You have a source start, source end, and then a stretch start and a stretch end. And then some other more niche things like stretching edges and inverting time and controls down here. Now this keyframe stretcher node is looking at whatever motion is being piped into it. So all of these nodes here are being piped in the keyframe stretcher and the keyframe stretcher with this source start and source end, we're telling it, okay, only look at the area between frame zero and frame 150. And with what's being piped into it, the animation is completely done at 150. But this stretch control underneath is super interesting. You'll see this stretch start has been moved to 30. And what that means 
is that at the beginning of any composition this is placed on, the first 30 seconds are going to play perfectly in sync. And you can see at 30 seconds, that's when the main motion of the animate in has stopped. And after that stretch start, we are in the stretch territory, the stretch zone. And so what this stretch node is doing is it is saying, okay, hold that for as long as needed. And then just like the start, it is looking at the end, both the source end and the stretch end. And it's saying, okay, there is 25 frames difference between the source end and the stretch end. So it's saying no matter how long it has to stretch the middle, 25 frames from the end of the composition start to play these last 25 frames that happened between uh, 125 and 150 in the original composition. And then it just plays that and it animates out. It's super cool. I couldn't believe it was this easy the first time I opened up one of these title templates. But it's easy, it's there, it's super cool, and it is one of the essential tools specifically for working with titles. If you want something to animate in like a lower third, like a nameplate, anything, you want it to animate in and hold for as long as you need it to be. This makes it super easy to be flexible, to move fast when you're editing. So I encourage you to jump in, start exploring, open up uh, a lot of these titles. There's cool stuff going on that you can definitely learn from. And this keyframe structure is one of the largest tools when it comes to creating presets for the edit page. The other is the recent Anim Curves modifier. I would love to dive into that in more depth soon. I've used that on tons of my presets. My uh, progress bar preset, super cool. Highly recommend that one. Takes great advantage of the Anim Curves modifier. Um, if you want more info on that, let me know and I might make a video specifically about that. That uh, together with this keyframe stretcher, uh, two massive tools to make really powerful effects, presets, templates, transitions for you to use uh, or spread to friends or even to sell for use on the edit page. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.